NHSX has been set up under the new Health Secretary, Matt Hancock. Uh, his priorities really are to, to integrate the services between health and social care and to embed digital as a way of working as well as embedding the principles of prevention across everything that we do. Historically, there has been major issues by not creating standards and making sure that all of the different technologies that are embedded in the service interlink and are capable of working together. That massive cost has created real problems within the health sector by trying to have organisations such as uh, Care.Data and the previous iterations which cost £7 billion in trying to integrate all services to have standards. I'm hoping that they will have uh, a major input from the engineering fraternity in the UK and will uh, involve engineers in the development of the application of digital systems in addition to just the design and development of digital systems because if they get the application wrong then the whole system that's been developed is going to be a waste of time and in the past that has been the case the application has has been wrong people have designed a really good system and then when it comes to put it into practice then it's it, it's not really user friendly and and the NHS can't use that system. We now find ourselves in an era where we're moving forwards towards fully enabled digital capability, both in terms of the, the service creating tools which it can use and tools that users are going to be choosing to add to their existing way of living. For example, we have our Apple phones and watches, we have other forms of devices from Fitbits, which all generate data that we would like to integrate within the health service, but unless we have standards and agreement on how interoperability is going to work, there is no way of making that happen. The system has got to be designed around the processes within the NHS, the services that the NHS offer, the products that the NHS offer.